back with football on the Sportsmax Zone. The English football season kicked off on Sunday with the FA Community Shield contested between triple winning Manchester City and Arsenal. A huge talking point following the match was Leonardo Trussard's 101st minute equaliser for Arsenal which sent the game to penalties which the Gunners won 4-1. But it's not the nature of the goal, but the time of it that has caused the uproar. The game was part of the first weekend rollout of the English FA's new added time policy, where referees will now add minutes based on how much time the ball spends out of play, as opposed to the previous rule, which depended more on the discretion of the referees. This rule change also saw many English championship games have in excess of eight minutes added on after 90 Many notable figures in the game have hit out at the new rule, including Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola. No surprise. What is their opinion? We have to accept it. Now the games will be 100 minutes, that's for sure. It never happened today and it was eight minutes. Imagine if they extend for goals and every time you score a goal in a game that is 4-3, you put 30 seconds, 45 seconds on for seven goals tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., I am here playing. Well, not you, Pep. You'll just be on the sidelines. Manchester United centre-back Raphael Varane is also not in favour of the rule. This is what Varane said. From the managers and players, we have shared our concerns for many years now that there are too many games. The schedule is overcrowded and it's at a dangerous level for players' physical and mental well-being. Despite our previous feedback, they have now recommended for next season longer games, more intensity and less emotions to be shown by players. We just want to be in good condition on the pitch to give 100% to our club and fans. Why are our opinions not being heard? So, yeah, we've heard it from Pep, we've heard it from Varane, Lance, Mariah. Is this rule change beneficial to the sport? Well, you had a lot of commentary when you were introducing Pep's comment, but I didn't hear much about the Manchester United Rafael Varane. I know I was just saying that Pep won't actually be playing. He'll just be on the sidelines coaching. I mean, it's my team. You know. <laughs> Anyways, Pep always gets blamed when he speaks out. But what I will say is, throughout all of last season, um, Ricardo and Lance, we've heard managers come out and speak about um, the number of games that they had to play, especially when there's a double game week, right? Mm -hmm. And I think this has a massive link to what is happening right now. So the extra time, and I'm thinking of it like this, adds on um, more minutes for the players to be on the field and everything. They've already been complaining about the fact that they have to play too much and that, you know, this results in them being unhealthy, adding to their injuries. And what doesn't sit well with me in all of this is the fact that the players and the managers, all of them have been saying, you know, they haven't been consulted in um, the making of these rules. You know, nobody has asked them, you know, their opinion and they are the ones on the field. So with in that particular point about them not being consulted, especially when they've, they've come out and spoken about how exhausted they've been at the end of a season, I have an issue with that. I feel like if you're making rules for people that it's going to affect, they should at least have a say. Yeah, and I'm not sure how many of the stakeholders would be embracing this new rule. Because for me, I see nothing wrong with how it had been before. You know, we have seen, you know, many games go, you know, have six, seven, eight minutes because of stoppages, stoppages that you can see. And um, I, I, quite frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss as to why they're going in this direction. Uh, Varane is uh, complaining. Um, Pep Guardiola is complaining. And I would suspect that if you run a poll, most of the people involved, players and coaches, would not be embracing this, this new rule. I, I quite like how it was before. And I, I just can't see the factors that would support going in this direction. And I just want even, to add even for television, you know, you know, you have programming and so on. And with this new rule, the, the football designated two hour um, bracket yeah. could now be in trouble, yeah, which just... would be a problem for, for TV broadcasters, which is a huge part of the football itself.
Agreed. And in this same particular match, apart from just these added minutes, they're being strict in emotions, right? And how you display emotions. And Mikel Arteta was actually given a yellow card for um, expressing dissent with something that happened. So all these different things, mm. I think it's taking the emotion I, I and the joy. I don't have a problem with that part, though, because I think that is a factor that quite often leads to inciting of, of tempers and, and so on. We saw yesterday a fan was killed uh, before the game between AEK Athens and uh, Dinamo Zagreb. Uh, AEK Athens is the team that the Trinidad and Tobago forward Levi Garcia plays for the game. It was a UEFA Champions League qualifying game and the game was actually postponed because fans had gathered before the match and um, there was some violence erupting there and a, a fan was actually killed. So I think I am more respectful or embracing of any rule that tries to cut down on emotions because I think sometimes as sports fans we get carried away and uh, if you see um, resentful or dissentful behavior from coaches, players, it can incite the crowd. So yeah. that part I'm, I'm okay with because I think we need to apply, you know, guidelines that, that tones down the tempers and emotions because sport, um, because of what it represents, quite often players and, and coaches can get um, a little over the top in their behavior. Let's yeah. take a look at the, at the numbers. Um, our producer wants us to show the viewers the average ball in play. Let's take a look at the statistics. So, um, based on the 2020-2021 season for the Premier League, only 56 minutes and 22 seconds. And in 2021-2022, only 55 minutes and 7 seconds. In the Championship, Competition, 51 minutes and 21 seconds, 52 minutes and 39 seconds. In League One, we had 51 minutes. In 2021 and 2022, we had 50 minutes and 23 seconds. Mm. And in League Two, 49 mm. and 2022, same thing, yeah. 49. Well, these, yeah. these statistics are a little startling because we're watching nice? the 90-minute game. Nice? To me, yeah. Okay. When I say startling, I mean you're watching a 90-minute game, so when you see 49 <laughs> and 50 minutes of actual what playing time, you, you... But to me, that's, that's immaterial. We're, we're, we all love football. We enjoy the games. And the fact that there is just probably 51, 52 minutes of playing time in a 90-minute match, to me, is immaterial. I, I, that goes unnoticed to me as a, as a fan watching no, football. But some that, of that's the, the very incidents. point I was going to make, that, that yeah. it goes unnoticed. So you said that those numbers are startling to you, which means to me that you didn't notice that it was only, on average, um, the, 55 are, minutes We, we knew about football. these stats before now. Yes. So but, just as a fan watching football, was that notice, is that noticeable to you? That no, there's, that's the point I okay. made. No, but I, I do agree know with you. What that, I notice is when VAR takes long and you get frustrated. <laughs> yes, but when VAR takes long, that time is added on. Yes. We're not talking about instances yeah. where it is clear um, where you probably have an injury and, and you have to, to yes. spend time on a particular player, whatever the case may be, all that time is, is put back. Um, I'm trying to, based on what I'm seeing now, yeah. is that the referee will decide if a goalkeeper takes too long to kick the ball back in play, and, and we see goalkeepers waste time all the time, yeah. then the referee will go, well, there's 30 seconds. Yeah. As Pep Guardiola pointed out, if you have seven goals, that's seven times 30 seconds, and we're going to add all of that on. And so every time you think a game is done, um, there are, oops, 10 more minutes. And we saw it at the World Cup, and it was disgusting at the World Cup. Yeah. And it is going to be disgusting in the Premier League as well if this holds. Nobody wants to see this. And as Lance pointed out, who was crying? Yeah. Who was crying yeah. lands I, I, no football fan no football team no football player was crying mm -hmm. what is the english fa thinking yeah. this it doesn't make any sense it and doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to lance it doesn't make sense to mariah it doesn't make sense to well, we, we've, done, make we've sense done a poll no, no no one else matters but we're gonna make some <laughs> sense and dollars so we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back <laughs> no.